Good afternoon and welcome back. Today,、uh, let's see Salt Houses by Hala Alian. Now, Hala Alian is a Palestinian American writer and a clinical psychologist who specializes in trauma,、uh, addiction, and cross-cultural behavior. So let's、uh, dig into Salt Houses. Salt Houses by Hala Alian portrays sufferings from various dilemmas of the displaced Palestinian family, scattered into many adopted homes, and are torn between foreign spaces. Salt Houses is a family story of the Palestinian victims. Who are displaced during the war, and now in exile or diaspora? The novel is the story of four generations of Palestinian middle-class family, the Yakub. Well, the story opens in 1963 in the West Bank city of Nablus with Salma. Hussam and three children, and continues until 2014 with grandchildren and great grandchildren, as the family's lives stretch through five host countries and never-ending search for home in Lebanon, France, Jordan, Kuwait, and the United States. Salma. The matriarch, the mother of the family, who earlier in 1948, which we also call the year the Nakba, fled the city of Yaffa with her husband due to Arab-Israeli conflict, and came to Nablus. Again, she and the children are victims of the Six-Day War of 1967, the Nakba. Which forces Artif and Alia, her daughter, to settle in Kuwait along with her sister Widad. When Saddam Hussein invades Kuwait in 1990, Alia and her family once again lose their home and seek refuge in Amman. Alia's daughter Suad, after living in Kuwait, Amman, Paris, and Boston. Eventually, decides to reside in the Lebanese capital Beirut. All his grandchildren move to America. So the characters are displaced, which is the unhealable rift forced between a human being and a native place, between the self and its true home. Salma's great granddaughter. Who lives in Boston takes a trip to the homeland. However, Palestine is never called home again. All the characters are victims of the wars and conflicts, and create divides among families. The Yakub family suffers the loss of their homeland, loss of family and kin. Constant displacement and a never-ending search for identity. Thus, we have seen that violent upheavals like imperialism, wars, decolonization have accelerated the movement of people, cultures across the world. Process of displacement and exile from the homeland produce a transnational mobilization. And people experience a degree of marginalization in the foreign land. The novel examines the pain of the diasporic and effects of displacement. Thank you.